Hello, everyone. How are you? Welcome back. Our Vision or Entrepreneurs Life Changers. We're back in both our Zoom and also on Facebook Live. I hope uh, if you have not joined our challenge yet, today is the day, actually the last day. You may not catch up this time the live challenge, but you can definitely join our next one. But today, the most important message I want to share with you is from the underdog to unstoppable movement leader. How many of you, maybe you're thinking movement, sounds like movement is too big for you. And some of you maybe still thinking about I'm nobody. And today, actually, I was uh, listening to Dean Gorsasi and his wife, Lisa, they were sharing about the message. Actually, that's a few years ago. Uh, Dean was uh, launching his uh, new book, Underdog. And he's doing that uh, live video and share with people his and also his wife's experience as immigrant. You know, with a humble beginning, their parents struggled as a, the first generation of immigrants. And also, like, they, they had nothing, almost like nothing, and built up everything from scratch. And how they suffered as, a, like, young kids when they were just like, arrived to the U.S. and uh, have to leave, like, Dean had to leave in even a bathroom and also, like, a cold bar garage with his uh, with his father and how he like all his uh, friends went to colleges but he had to stay in that garage a cold super cold garage just to start to face cars to make living and also Lisa as an immigrant uh, like from Mexico how he, her family like also struggled and how she felt so different all the people around her that uh, treat her different and she felt like so um like like almost like a hidden figure, right? Like you did not know that you belong to anywhere. You did not feel that belonging. So I personally so resonated with that message because I also initially felt like an underdog. I immigrated to the US 18 years ago, even though I was in a big corporate world. I was I found a job, my first job in the US, even though I worked a long time, like international companies as well. Uh, in My first job was already in the Fortune 100 company. But I still felt like I was nobody. As an immigrant, I barely knew anybody in, the, in New York City and uh, except a few relatives from like their first generation immigrants from China, barely speak any English. And my husband's side, right? And my, my side of my family, I'm the only one in the US. Till now I'm still like only one in the US. My parents, my sister all in China. So I felt like a, so lack of uh, resources. And even though I, after a few years, I went into, you know, follow, follow up with my purpose, with my passion and get into a coaching industry and become a coach. Initially, I started as a happiness coach and through years evolved into abundance coach to help entrepreneurs and, uh, you know, entrepreneurs and experts to stand out in their ideal niche to impact other people. But through the years, I still have that, that kind of an underdog mindset, like Dean said, underdog's mindset keeps barring us with the dinner's time from time, right? I still felt that, especially at the beginning of my coaching business, I felt like, wow, I knew nobody. And how could I do this business? And especially also my English is my second language. And I, it's, it was okay for me to communicate with people in, in, in like a corporate and in daily life, but it's not, it's so super challenging to be a coach, use a second language, right? Use the English as my language to do the coaching. And also learn all the coaching and, you know, do the marketing, do all those kind of uh, the coaching, especially direct director with my, with my uh, clients, right? So all these are challenging. I still remember when I just started to pursue my coaching certificate, professional certificate from New York University. That's 13 years ago. And I barely, I was so you know, inside of, my, inside of myself, I had that passion, right? I found my purpose. I was super excited, but my, my language, could definitely not match my 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 inside my my passion and my energy right everything I look forward to contributing my my language was super behind when I was communicating with my peers with uh, with other like uh, peers in the coaching class and also my professor I feel like I'm stumbling you know I, I'm not quite fluent at all and so I was a little bit lack of confidence in my language and what make it worse is when a professor assigned the peers, right? The, in a coaching school, normally they were assigned the peers to practice coaching towards each other. The worst situation is what? Is what? My partner refused to do the peer, peer practice with me, refused. 
And that made me so embarrassed because she was uh, like a, a little bit more experienced and established. She definitely wants to, I do not blame her, right? She wants to find a better uh, like a peers or buddy to practice and get herself improved. So of course she did not want to practice with me, like totally looks like a newbie and <laughs> whose English is could not barely like fully express myself so well, right? So the professor had to rearrange the peers and finally found a nice lady to practice with me. Uh, but at the same time to the, the, the professor also did a good thing. Like she gave me one coaching session <laughs> to really like, a, she was concerned about if I'm um, hurt, quite, quite hurt. It's so embarrassed, it's so hurt during that kind of experience. So she she was so kind enough to give me that, that kind of a separate, like a private coaching. 30 minutes, I think. She invited me to a, some kind of a club room in Midtown Manhattan. But during, even during that conversation, I could feel that kind of a, I was treated almost like a underdog, right? They had that empathy. I can feel that they had the empathy, but also at the same time, I can feel that kind of arrogance from even from the professor, right? And uh, she, she uh, when I inquired her some questions, asked her questions, she was like, almost like threw her keys of those like a, a, a pre, like prestigious club's keys in front of me. I would say how the coaching business could be like profitable and it could be good, right? I could feel that kind of arrogance. And even though she wanted to help me, but at the same time, I could feel that she did not like fully trust me or have that belief in me. And through the years, I had so many of the like doubts and last years on the way, including someone like, for example, the, the, my speaking coaches, speaking coach, one of them, the majority mentors, I would say they are great. They, 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 they want to help me, right? But one speaking coach, she was helping us to develop our, uh, like uh, they said, the speakers uh, one sheet, right? And describe yourself, identify your uh, branding, everything. She was challenging me and she was doubting that, oh, you could not call yourself a thought leader and uh, you have not get to that level yet. So I was like, uh, through all these years, like quite often, and also when I go to like industry events to attend those events and like, uh, including coaching events or other like uh, uh, like funnels events, you could barely see any, any Asian there, just a few of us, just a few, if you can find some other Asians, right? So we're definitely minorities, especially in uh, like a coach industry and also in more advanced entrepreneurship industry, right? So all these years, that kind of a, down dark mindset could visit you time from time and even reminded to you by the outside environment, right? And you feel like, oh, those people, they could have um, like those, even the, the beginners, but because of their background, because of their English, they're good. And they can jump out there and do the webinar and attract uh, many, many, many clients, all this kind of thing, right? You feel like, remind yourself, oh, I'm still like, a, feel like sometimes you feel like you're a failure, right? You feel like, oh man, I'm still making a grammar's, mistakes and how could I impact other people? And Dean really reminded us in his book, how to turn your underdog mindset, underdog, okay, underdog mindset to be your superpower. And that's his actually really the testimonial of his journey and Lisa as well. So me, I would say when I recall the 13 years, my coaching experience, this is exactly, really exactly from the underdog, you have to work on you yourself for your work to be working. You need to make yourself work. So that's why we spend so much time on all this kind of mindset. When some, some people say, oh, mindset is not important. Oh, I, I really need to do actions and, and uh, implement everything. Right? Implement is super important, yes. But whenever you go, like it, it only depends on in, implement, implementation, you will not go far. And you will always sometimes hit some wall or hit some rocks and you will come back to, what is playing here? What kind of things is bo bothering you, okay? So that's always like, a, from this challenge, I've been doing the coaching 13 years and worked so much on my mindset, worked hard on my mindset until today, I'm still keep working on it. Even like a Dean Gossasa and Tony Robbins, they said that every day we've been working on it. This stuff between your two years inside of here, right? And it's really super powerful, super powerful will decide even one switch, like one shift will decide a big difference of the results. For example, 
in the morning, right? If you are still lying in the bed and then you, if you have that like a draining mindset, oh, I'm nobody and I'm still like a fail. I, I, I've already tried so hard and never get anywhere. And some of our, like, uh, I see that some of our entrepreneurs and even clients, right? They have that mindset. If you keep thinking that way and you do not want to move, right? You do not want to jump off your bed. You do not want to do anything. So that's where you can see that the mindset, if you still have that underdog mindset and, and also you could never succeed, that kind of mindset bother you, you would not even want to get off your bed to do the work, right? So that's why it's super important. And in this challenge, we designed this content freedom challenge, but it's really not just about content. Remember from day one, we, we helped you to really align with your purpose and your niche and your offer that you can provide to, to contribute to your values, right? And then day two, we focus on the, the art. The art part is really your identity, who you are and what's your strengths. And even though you still have that underdog mindset, that's where you especially need to work on it and to get yourself that disadvantage into your superpower. And that's that's a part that you, the, the stories, what you are telling yourself, change your story, like Tony Robbins said, right? changes your story, change your identity, and also change your results as well. So that's a day two and day three, we talked, we focused on a challenge on the, the science part about the content categories, about the content formats, about the win, right? The calendar, the environment, the habit. And day four, we focused on the content uh, strategies yesterday, strategies about the, the formula, the hard topics and also the, the hard posts, so what kind of structures you can put there, right? specific examples. So, and today, if you like for the first four days, even only for the first four days, you could really benefit so much to become a great like, master of your content, uh, the content art and science, right? And really do great in the market. But why we design today? Today is really the ultimate lift, lift you up, to your next level, lift your vision to the next level. And this is a movement. And that's exactly how you can transform from an underdog to unstoppable movement leader. Okay, so that's purely for today. This will really decide your ultimate success and fulfillment. So I want to quickly share your screen, uh, the guidance. We have a daily challenge uh, guidance for our VIPs and also general member. General member will have a flank to go in and uh, VIP get a full content. So the content freedom challenge, the four, five days from the purpose to art, to science, strategies, and a movement, okay? And every day we have a specific target. Like for today, the movement, we will help you to understand how to launch and relaunch your momentum. Momentum is everything. Like Tony said, momentum is everything. All those successful ones, they are masters of momentum, okay? And then create your movement. This when you define, really discover the movement, align, truly align with your purpose and with your vision, the movement will lift you to the next level and your game to at a different level and also will help you to depend your leadership and impact. And so this day, day four is totally challenging how to review whatever you've already done and how you can re-innovate, okay? In, really innovate to do the new launch, even though you already launched your business long time ago, but how you can focus on the new momentum and to repurpose on everything, your content, your program, and optimize it and make a new launch. And also how to create and discover and create your umbrella brand of movement. That's where we focus on. We even have the one movement of a challenge to help you to really discover your voice, discover your message, discover your what's, what's the call you are here to fulfill. And based on that, design your movement. Example, for my movement, I'm needing the, move, the abundance of all movement. And I'm helping entrepreneurs to really discover their purposeful and profitable niche. And also to uplift them to define what's their best, their ideal unique brand, brand content offer, so that, and also their community, and including their movement as well, so that they could stand out as expert, as confident expert and thought leader in their ideal niche to impact more lives and at the same time for better lives. So that's my movement. What is your movement? If you are still just playing at a low level, only like marketers, only as like experts, just providing the service, just to solve some certain problem, 
that's not good enough yet. You are called here to do greater things. And if you are still have that underdog's mindset, like I, I forgot who said this, either Russell Brunson or Dean Gross, I say they, or Tony Robbins, right? They said that God does not call the equipped. God, quali- God, equipped the, God equips the qualified. Okay, let me say that again. God does not call the equipped. God equips the called. Okay, so that's where you need to think about. If you are called, if you really feel that kind of a driven message, that a driven, unstoppable kind of a voice, it's urging you, it's pushing you, it's driving you to make a better impact and to not be satisfied with where you are, not satisfied with your current content, current status, or always try to challenge like even impossible, right? Sounds like impossible vision, impossible dream. Believe that you got a call, okay? God is qualifying you through the journey. If you are still struggling sometimes, right? Like every day, almost like every day, entrepreneurs, not just someday. Every day we could have struggling, have ups and downs. And believe that if you still have that conviction, if that voice is still urging you, you are the cord, you are the cord, okay? You are here not just to stay in that underdog mindset, in, in that underdog status. And actually that underdog situation is really doing you benefit. Like a to- uh, and a Dean, Dean and Lisa was talking about how they like their kids. Now they've already got almost like everything, right? With the rich dad and mom. How would they like their kids to do? They do not want to like give them just like a million dollars for them to to start, right? They want them to figure it out by themselves, to have strugglings, to have uh, like all these bumps, all these kind of uh, like challenges, all these difficulties, right? So that they could focus on to solve the problems and also find their own voice, find their own way, find their own value to contribute to this world. That's exactly what I expect. I want for my kids as well, even though I've already been like building up such kind of like a good foundation, right, for them in the entrepreneurship, but I want them, I, and I also believe that they will all go through their own journey, have their own struggles, and that's why it's great, it's great to be appreciative, you know, appreciated that what we are experiencing and what we already went through, you know, it's all those kind of challenges, underdog journeys, that's our superpower, like being called a superpower. That's our drive, that's our force, and that's our preparation, that's our equipment, exactly our equipment journey. And especially if you are in underdog situation, especially you are in challenges and difficulties and strugglings, you should be especially grateful because that's your special blessing and gifts. And that's a proof that you are in this equip, equipping journey. God is equipping you, is uh, helping you to fulfill your call. So turn that into your unstoppable power and turn that into your unstoppable movement. And we were here to help you, to lift you up, to really see your clear picture, the vision and call you are prepared to fulfill. And we are here to help you to really discover and create and need your movement. And by the way, I'll quickly go through. And here will also help you to create your movement from the high level and share with your one movement of each challenge and how to from the idea just to launch your movement and uh, to get super empowered to lead. And then deepen how to deepen your leadership and impact will teach you how to build up your community, our secrets, like, a, like our Jewish secrets, how to build up your community, your tribe, to really get on the, together on this journey of, of this movement to fulfill the movement together and how you as a leader could make a greater impact and to get people into your zone, okay? And then finally, we have the every day, we have the challenge assignment. We ask people to do the live, live video inside of our challenge group and challenge yourself and stand out there to share your idea, to share your movement and to launch to this world, right? We, almost like that's a launch, launch your movement so that you get into the new momentum and also get your vision to the next level. And we also help you to get your next launch idea so that you could put into from the mindset, from the idea, right? From the vision and from the movement to implementation. So that's for day five. I know it's already like the last day of the challenge, right? But our challenge, the real challenge is never ending. 
the five day intense challenges. And we were doing that uh, almost like monthly and make sure that if you miss this time, if you only listen to this live message now, you miss uh, this time, make sure that you will check our link under our video. I will share that later to make sure you, you join our next live challenge. Because during this challenge, we will have the special for our VIP, right? Our general member will stay in the Facebook group, challenge group, and our VIP, VIP members will have exclusive Zoom, Zoom interview, room interaction with me. And on the Zoom, we will ask questions. We will help you make over your niche, your brand, your offer, your content, and also help you design your movement. And then you have your implementation, okay? And we we'll also have a further opportunities to invite you to, to do the mastery level of uh, of a program and if you want to deepen your learning and really get what you learned into the deep and also successful implementation. All right, so that's for today. I hope that uh, wherever you are, if you still have the uh, time from time, that kind of an underdog mindset bothering you. Remember today's message, turn that, join us, join our movement, our abundance of all movement to turn your underdog mindset, underdog disadvantages into your unstoppable, superpower and also unstoppable movement leadership. All right, we look forward to seeing you inside our next live challenge. See you, bye.